Let's bring in Connor Halpin. Dominant tonight at the faceoff dot and a couple of goals to boot. All right, so Connor, let's go to the end of the first half. There was no doubt in your mind that you were winning that faceoff and that you were going to end up shooting, was there? No, um, I figured, or I kind of noticed that they were cutting off uh, my fast break a little bit. Um, so I knew with only 10 seconds left, I think there was, that, you know, how to get it out quick and then make a move from there. So luckily I was able to get the GB um, and have enough time to really go down the field and uh, put a nice shot on net. And thankfully for me, it went. So yeah, it, it sure is. Up the team from that, yeah. First to two tonight. So after the second one, uh, Peter Green proclaimed, you're definitely going to end up taking another shot because then you got you got a shot at a hat yeah. trick. You got to go for it at that point, right? <laughs> yeah, I think everyone knew. I had another look or another shot uh, later in the game that missed. Yeah. But uh, when I came off to the sideline, everyone said, oh, you wanted that hat, he didn't you? You wanted that hat, he... And I said, yeah, you know, honestly, I did. But, you know... Um, it is what it is. We still got the win, so just happy about that. The anyway. Coach was talking about, you know, you had to take a couple of days off in order to get rested, get back. Like, how good does it feel to be out there and to put together a performance like that? Yeah, it feels good, especially, um, you know, sometimes coming off an injury, no one is going to know how you bounce back. Uh, you know, kind of have fingers pointing at you, a lot of pressure, but, you know, taking the time off and really, you know, believing in myself and trusting my coaching staff, uh, teammates, so I go out there and be as confident as I could be, and that's what happened tonight. Showed. So. What's the best thing you've learned? You know, obviously the the great thing about being at Stevenson is you get to work with you know you know the greatest faceoff specialist of all time. What's the best thing that you've learned from Coach that's helped you in your craft and what it is that you do? Uh, I mean, from such a legend, you know, Coach he teaches you a lot of things. Uh, hard to you know pick just one, but uh, one thing that I really kept with me is you know getting the ball out as quick as you can. Um, a lot of times when you're too, uh, you s hold on to the ball for too long, you get uh, countered or anything could really happen. So if you really um, put the ball out quick and efficiently, um, you'll know that, you know, you'll get there first and uh, it'll show in the stat sheet. So. And off, you're having a really great season. All right, we're just talking about it. Give me your one seed of like candies whenever we get to Easter. It's what, mm -hmm. what's, 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 what's the, the go-to for you? I'm going to go with Twix. 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 That's a oh, that's a boring candy for me. That is. I was between Twix or Kit Kat. Uh, childhood favorite. I always grew up. I love the crunch sensation. Okay, yeah. So that's where it caught me. I can um, dig that. Yeah. I can dig that. Twix. I'm not. You know. In general, I'm not feeling. But I dig the idea of the crunch. All right. Um, who can we shout out? Who's watching at home? Who do you want to say something to? Um, of course, shout out. You know, coaching staff, teammates, um, family, friends at home. They've been supporting me to get to this moment. Um, and then also my physical therapist, want to shout them out because I tore my ACL twice, um, long recovery from that injury back on the field. I couldn't have done it without them, so I want to thank them too. Connor, congratulations on a great.